Remember today's program, we are proudly sponsored by Faraja Settlers Limited. This is a company that we tell you that your property is our priority. We have a project, this project we are calling it uh, the Ranch Gilgil Garden in Gilgil Nakuru County. These plots, they are 50 by 100 piece of plot and uh, you know if you want to own this plot, all you have to do is uh, pay 230,000 Kenya shilling cash and of course if you want to pay in installment, you all you have to do is deposit 10,000 Kenya shillings and then clear the balance in a very flexible payment plan of six months or one year. This is all courtesy of Faraja Settlers Limited and I'm telling you guys that if you want to own this plot, deposit 10,000 then clear the balance in installment because I always say that you know your property is our priority. And of course you can book a site visit which happens every Saturday by visiting our offices in Nairobi CBD, a building known as RNG Plaza along Ronan Gala Street. Or you can call us 0705525252 and of course we will be able to take you for a site visit and book your plot so that we can start a journey of investing uh, together. And of course uh, as always we tell you that Faraja Settlers Limited, your property, our priority. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's program. My name is Hira Maina aka Kamuhonja and uh, I always say that uh, you know why not for you will not be here. Currently we are at 134,000 subscribers and it is because of you. You have shared, you have subscribed. May God bless you wherever you are. People in Kenya and diaspora, may God bless you and enlarge your territories. And uh, today's program, uh, we are blessed to have uh, the one and the only, you know, Apostle Teresia Jenga from the Synagogue of Hope Church in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, today we will be talking about how to identify an evil altar that is speaking in your life. How do you, you know, get to uh, identify that evil altar? Is something maybe wrong with you, uh, with your life? Are you stagnating? Uh, do you feel that you have an uh, evil altar and all is not well? We are going to uh, learn more about identifying an evil altar in our lives. And uh, without further ado, help me welcome the one and the only Apostle Teresia Jenga from Nairobi, Kenya. Praise God. Buona sifiwe. Amen, amen. Eh, amen. Welcome to our show today. Thank you. And I would like you to say hi to our fans. Yes. Yeah. Hello there. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. My name is Apostle Teresia Wairimu Jenga, mm -hmm. coming to you live from the Synagogue Studios mm -hmm. in Nairobi, Kenya. And I'm so grateful to be here today. I love the Lord. The Lord has been good to me. And uh, I feel blessed. Amen. I feel blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Yes. And uh, Apostle, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, there are people who would want to support this ministry. Yes. Uh, how can they reach you? Ah, thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much for anybody who is supporting my ministry. Mm -hmm. I have people who are supporting me. Mm -hmm and others who are asking me how they can support me. Mm. You can support me through mobile money. You can use mobile money. That's my number on the screen. It's plus 254-722-337140. Plus 254-722-337140. You can also use PayPal. You can use PayPal. PayPal, the account is on your screen. It's W. Teresia 308 at gmail.com W Teresia 308 at gmail.com That's my PayPal account. You can support us through that number and by the grace of God you will be blessed. Right now Hiram we are in the process of installing uh, soundproof mm -hmm. in our main church. Mm -hmm. We are installing soundproof in our church. Mm -hmm. So if you are there, you would feel like you would want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. We are installing soundproof in our church. Mm -hmm. And that's why today you are seeing we, in, we are in our beautiful studio. Mm -hmm. We are not in the church uh, premises because mm -hmm. the church premises, there is a beehive of activities going there. Mm -hmm. We are installing soundproof. We would want to welcome your donation towards installing or installation of soundproof 
if you have your $1,000, you have your $500, you have your $200, whatever God allows you to do, be a blessing and be a, a partaker of what God is doing. So God bless you so much for always being there and supporting us, even supporting this program. A program like this costs a lot of money. We would, I would want to invite all of you to come and support us. You can support us with whatever God allows you to support this program. And by the grace of God, we will all be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And yes. I always say that the uh -huh. hand that gives uh -huh. is the hand that receives. Amen. And therefore, if mm -hmm. uh, you want to be part of the ministry, you know, mm -hmm. the, you know, standing with the kingdom, uh, what you need to do is support mm -hmm. uh, using the number on your screen and yes. God will bless you. Amen. And as we continue with today's program, mm -hmm. I've said that uh, we will be talking about you know, how to identify an evil altar mm -hmm. in your life. Yes. How do you identify? But before that, Apostle, mm -hmm. uh, you know, people have been asking about, uh, you know, how uh, Pastor Emo's story is going. Mm -hmm. Is he buried? We talked about his yes. uh, death and uh, I mentioned that he was not buried. Yes. And uh, I, the wife reached to me yeah. and I was able to talk to her. Uh -huh. And uh, she told me that uh, the reason as to why uh, Pastor Amos has not been buried yet. Yes. It is because the, the, the bishop from that cult, uh -huh. they want to be part of the burial ceremony and to take part of the burial ceremony wow. and uh, be like they are heading it. And now they are having issues with the family because the family, uh, they don't want to allow that. Yes. That is uh, what has been happening. Oh my God. Mm. So the bishops from that cult wants to take over the burial. Exactly. Yeah, that's why we need to be very careful because mm -hmm. once you sign a contract with these people, they are not going to let you go mm -hmm. in death mm -hmm. and in life. Mm -hmm. They will not allow you to go. Now Pastor Amos is dead, mm -hmm. but they are not going to let go of his spirit mm -hmm. and his body. Mm -hmm. they, are, they now want to be part of his body mm -hmm. because when you are involved in a cult, you have even signed out your body. Mm -hmm. They are free to use your body. Mm -hmm. And that's why they want to be connected to the grave mm -hmm. where they will bury him. Because immediately they bury him, mm -hmm. they will come for him. Mm -hmm. They will come for him, mm -hmm. they will be able now to summon him. Mm -hmm. The spirit. Yes, they will, summon, they will be summoning him. Mm -hmm. They will even use his body. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, the Bible says when you die, mm -hmm. you rest in eternal peace. Mm -hmm. But now when you are connected to that world, mm -hmm. the fetish world, mm -hmm. there is no resting in peace. Resting in peace, you are resting in God. You can only rest in peace when you are in God. But when you are in the other world, you can never rest in peace. So these people, they want to make sure they take over the tomb. Because you know, even in the Bible, there are demons that likes to stay in the tombs. Yeah. It is not because they are dead people there. No, uh -huh. they take over even in the world of the dead. Uh -huh. So when you are connected to the fetish world, uh -huh. these fetish priests, uh -huh. they have a way of using you even when you are dead. Uh -huh. They don't allow you to rest in peace. Uh -huh. You continue to serve them. Uh -huh. You continue to minister to them. Uh -huh. Your spirit uh -huh. and your body. Uh -huh. That's why you see they are asking to bury him. Uh -huh. They want to be a part of that funeral. Uh -huh. You see, mm -hmm. and that's very dangerous. That means this family is not going to enjoy peace. Mm -hmm. They have to make sure that these people does not bury that man. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, when you pray for the grave, you release the angels of God and the Holy Spirit to take over that place. Mm -hmm. They will not be able to wake him up. Mm -hmm. They will not be able to call him. Mm -hmm. But now when they allow them to take part, mm -hmm. it means they will have charge. Mm -hmm and control over that grave mm -hmm. and that grave will trouble them mm -hmm. that grave will give them problems mm -hmm. they when you die in god mm -hmm. you rest in peace mm -hmm. but when you don't die in god mm -hmm. you cannot rest in peace there is no other peace mm -hmm. and let me say this there is no peace mm -hmm. outside of jesus christ mm -hmm. Peace is only found when you have Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is the king of peace, the, the prince of the peace. Prince of peace yeah. He's the prince of peace. Mm -hmm. There is nobody else that has peace. Mm -hmm. So uh, these people, mm -hmm. they know he is not, he is not those people who need, who they want them to have eternal peace. Mm -hmm. They want to use him even in dead, mm -hmm. even in death. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's why we need to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and these are the consequences. Yes, uh, of maybe having such, yes, you know, dedicating your life yes. to evil altar. Yes, and it is very sad and unfortunate that yes. even in his death, yes, uh, you know, the, 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 he cannot be able to rest. Yes, you and cannot rest in peace. Mm. People rest in peace when they are in God, mm. not outside God. Mm. Hey, I want people to get that one. Mm -hmm. You can only rest in peace when you are in Jesus, mm -hmm. when you are in God, mm -hmm. when you have known the peace that God gives. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm sure many people, they have seen, mm -hmm. you know, when people, uh, they are being buried, uh, mm -hmm. we see a uh, men of God and women of God yes. uh, praying for that great before. Anointing the tomb. Uh -huh. The reason we pray for the tomb uh -huh is because we know there are other powers that like to stay in the tomb. Mm. And when we bless that tomb, mm. we declare even unto the coming of Jesus Christ, mm. that tomb will never be used by any demon uh -huh. until the day of the resurrection of the dead. Because mm. the Bible says, the dead mm. in Christ mm. will rise when the Son of Man comes. Mm. So even the people who have, they are completely skeletons. Mm. The Bible says they will receive new bodies mm. and they will arise from their tomb. Mm. That's why we have to bless those tombs mm. until the day mm -hmm. Christ comes back. Mm. When Jesus comes back mm. and he touches the ground, mm. the Bible says the dead mm. will, will meet him mm. before us who will be living. Mm. They are the people who will meet him in the air. Mm -hmm. Yes. They will hear his voice. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. And mm -hmm. uh, all we can, of course, pray, because this has been a very mm -hmm. uh, an eye-opener to yes. many people, you know, in diaspora, in mm -hmm. Kenya, people have been following that story. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is good because mm -hmm. so many people have been enlightened about yes. it. And yes. um, it, it is always good to dedicate your life to Jesus. Yes. Because, uh, you know, when you have Jesus, you have said that even when you die, mm. uh, you will rest in peace. Yes. Because when you de dedicate your life to other yes. uh, demonic altars, yes. you will never have peace in this world. Yes. And even in the life. Even altar. in the world to come, exactly. you will not have peace. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, the. Uh, what, what the worst mistake the family can do mm -hmm. is, I think, for me, is to is to allow, you know, that process yeah. to go on. Yeah, yeah. The, the the worst mistake they can make mm. is to allow any fetish man mm. to come near that grave. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the worst they can do is to allow because it will also deny them peace. Mm -hmm. You will start hearing stories of him mm -hmm. being seen seen in the compound. Uh -huh. being seen around uh -huh. people will start saying they have seen him uh -huh. they have met him uh -huh. they have done this uh -huh. and the reason they will start saying that because he will be he will still remain to be their servant they will use him in death yeah even in death they will still use him mm -hmm. yeah, that's why we need to be careful mm -hmm. yes because he will not be used for two years mm -hmm. that means in eternity he will be their slave they will use him forever and ever even to attack the family yeah even to attack and to make sure that in the family there is one person who will always be there in every generation to serve that altar huh. yes wow. yeah Th that's the work of the demons mm. and that's why i'm telling you mm -hmm. when evil altars are invoked mm -hmm. great destinies mm -hmm. are altered mm -hmm. when evil altars are invoked mm. Great, destiny. uh, great destinies are altered. Mm -hmm. Yes, and ancestral spirits, mm -hmm. they don't identify you mm -hmm. by your looks mm -hmm. or your education, mm -hmm. but they identify you through your blood. So you have no power against ancestral altars. Mm -hmm. These altars, they will identify you through blood. Uh -huh. through your DNA uh -huh. and that's what they identify uh -huh. they know you by your DNA uh -huh. so if there is an author that you will not silence uh -huh. that author will never keep quiet uh -huh. it will still continue to pursue uh -huh. so when you identify an author uh -huh. you have to destroy it completely uh -huh. the family of Amos must uh -huh. destroy the author he raised uh -huh. completely uh -huh. and make sure when he, they bury him uh -huh. everything else is buried uh -huh. there is no a history mm -hmm. of his dealings mm -hmm. or anything that he was doing. Mm -hmm. They have to do away with everything by the time they bury him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Mm. And, uh, you know, 
maybe you can tell us how yes. do we identify evil this? altars yes. yes today my topic would be how to identify mm -hmm. that you are being pursued by evil altars mm -hmm. or there are people who are not yet ready mm -hmm. or sure mm -hmm. they, they they know what evil altars are mm -hmm. and how to identify them in the family line mm -hmm. number one mm -hmm. I want to talk about how to identify altars in your family. Mm -hmm. And number one, I want to talk about family limitation. Mm -hmm. You will discover that in your family, mm -hmm. there is always a limitation. Mm -hmm. Nobody rises above a certain level. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a certain level that everybody is within. Mm -hmm. And nobody rises from that level. Mm -hmm. In such a family, mm -hmm. fam there, there are families that people cannot graduate there are people who would go to the university uh -huh. and you will discover they have been there forever but uh -huh. they don't graduate uh -huh. you will see even a second person and a third person uh -huh. the struggle that they will always have uh -huh. is to getting to a place of graduation uh -huh. getting to a place of graduation becomes now their biggest headache uh -huh. that means there is a family limitation uh -huh. yes there is a family limitation uh -huh. and uh uh, this person who is also looking for education, these demons will make sure mm -hmm. that this person does not get school fees mm -hmm. and is struggling with the food. Uh -huh. Can you imagine somebody is trying to get through a university mm -hmm. and he has no food mm -hmm. and there is nothing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, meaning. So, this limitation will make sure that there is a big excuse mm -hmm. why you will not finish, finish. your education. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because how can you compare food and education? education. You will choose food. Exactly. Yeah, you will choose to live uh -huh. and eat. Uh -huh. And you, if we read the book of Job, uh -huh. chapter 13, uh -huh. verse 26, can you open? It says, uh -huh. For you write bitter things against me. For you write bitter things against me. And make me inherit the iniquities of my youth. And make me inherit the iniquities of my youth. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, there are people, mm -hmm. there are evil handwriting that has written bitter things against them, mm. and they make them remember the iniquities of their youth. Mm. You try to cross another level, mm. but the enemy is there reminding you of your sins. Mm -hmm. Let's go to verse 27 because mm -hmm. it's where my interest is. Mm -hmm. You put my feet in the stocks. You put my feet in the stocks. And watch all my path. And watch all my path. You set a limit for the soles of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you set a limit. You set a limit for the soles of my feet. For the, uh, for the soles of my feet. Yes. Can you repeat the, the, the 27 again? You put my feet in the stocks. You put my feet in the stocks. And watch all my path. And watch all of my path. Another translation says, mm -hmm. and watch carefully mm -hmm. my path. Mm -hmm. These are spirits that are called monitoring spirit. Mm -hmm. you, moni you monitor my steps carefully. Mm -hmm. When there is a demon of limitation, mm -hmm. there are spirits that will make sure they will monitor you and make sure you do not cause a certain path. Mm -hmm. When the Bible says you put my feet in stock, mm -hmm. it means there is a line. Mm -hmm. that there, there is a semicircle where they have put you inside. Mm -hmm. You cannot go past that semicircle. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Yeah, and you observe critically mm -hmm. all my paths. Mm -hmm. You set a circle mm -hmm. and limit around the soles of my feet. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine somebody putting you a circle mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. in your feet? Mm -hmm. They make sure that carefully mm -hmm. you will not cross that circle. Mm -hmm. You will not cross that line. Mm -hmm. And that's why what some families are suffering from. Yeah. The demons will make sure they don't pass that circle. Mm -hmm. Nobody is employed. Mm -hmm. Nobody goes to the city. Mm -hmm. And if they go to the city, nobody uh, buys land. Mm -hmm. Nobody will build a house. Mm -hmm. Nobody will get married. Mm -hmm. Those are limitations that are in the family lines. Mm -hmm. There are families, when you get into their family, mm -hmm. there is a limitation of even having children. Uh -huh. You will discover that them having a child is a big issue. Uh -huh. There's a problem. Mm. And you will discover it is a family line thing. Uh -huh. You will discover that even getting uh, to university, mm. it is a problem. Mm. Even when one person goes to the university, mm. everybody celebrates. Mm. And everybody is saying like, this altar is now destroyed. Mm. Now people will go to the university. Mm. I remember when my daughter graduated, mm. everybody celebrated. Mm. Because we said, 
finally mm. somebody has graduated in our family life mm. mm. both my husband's side and my side mm. we celebrated mm. because there was nobody before mm. her mm. that had gone through university mm. and graduated mm. so i want you to imagine mm. the bible says you carefully mm. observe mm. my english here is telling me mm -hmm. you observe critically mm. all my parts mm -hmm. These are demons that will observe. They will take a look at details. Mm -hmm. Immediately you get a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. They will screen him. Is he a marrying type? If he is a marrying type, they will not allow you to have him. Mm -hmm. Because maybe in your family they don't allow you to get married. Mm -hmm. That's how they critically observe. Mm -hmm. That's how as a man, mm -hmm. they don't want you to get a good wife. They will critically observe all the girls you are dating. Mm -hmm. and they will make sure all the good girls will go you will discover that every male mm. has a woman who will trouble him mm. every male has a woman that will give him hell mm. it's a family limitation mm. you will discover there are so many in the family in a certain family mm. they have big land mm -hmm. but nobody has a title deed mm. nobody has ownership of that title deed mm. a generation comes and dies mm. another generation comes the same struggle mm -hmm. and another one comes the same struggle mm -hmm. they always pass on mm -hmm. the spirit of not owning nobody mm -hmm. owns Indeed. so they are troubled by the spirit of limitation mm -hmm. and near success syndrome mm -hmm. there are people who have near success syndrome mm -hmm. yes wow and apostle i have seen such you know families mm -hmm. whereby mm -hmm. uh, you find maybe mm -hmm. uh, maybe she or mm -hmm. he you know they go to school mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to graduation, graduation yes and akwa mwenda wazimu yes there are people who go mad uh -huh. just before they graduate uh -huh. i saw something happen in our village uh -huh. and a certain gentleman was about to go abroad uh -huh. and people did a very big party uh -huh. I remember those are the 90s mm -hmm. they did a big party mm -hmm. and immediately after that party that gentleman started going mad mm -hmm. and that was the end mm -hmm. he is still in the village today but like a mad man but like a mad man nothing mm -hmm. happened for him mm -hmm. there are people you will finish your school mm -hmm. but you will never enjoy your labor mm -hmm. because in your family there is a spirit of limitation mm -hmm. there are people who are working very hard mm -hmm. in your office when your time comes for a uh, promotion mm. you will not be promoted mm. you know why the mm. spirit of limitation mm. it will make sure you are rejected mm. uh, you are very ripe mm. for promotion mm. but somebody comes and bypasses you mm. when especially when you observe people bypassing you mm -hmm. you need to start understanding you are dealing with the demonic altars in the family line mm -hmm. spirit of limitation is at work mm -hmm. and you need to act very fast mm -hmm. and to frustrate this altar mm -hmm. to destroy it mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Amen. these are spirits of limitation mm -hmm. you have to act very fast mm -hmm. and start destroying them in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. the reason i am teaching these things mm -hmm. it is you mm -hmm. stop fighting what you don't know mm -hmm. and start dealing with what you know sure. you start opening your eyes mm -hmm. and see what is fighting you mm -hmm. you don't have to fight in the atmosphere with something that you don't understand mm -hmm. now you understand is it the spirit of limitation deal with it there is what we call the midnight cry mm -hmm. the midnight prayers mm -hmm. those are prayers mm -hmm. that are for people who are tired of being limited mm -hmm. uh, people who are tired and who are ready to come out of the stocks mm -hmm. they have tied you in a certain place mm -hmm. if you are tired mm -hmm. you need to ask me mm -hmm. i'll give you prayers mm -hmm. at the midnight hour mm -hmm. that you need to pray mm -hmm. to come out of those stocks mm -hmm. there are altars that you have to destroy mm -hmm. nobody can destroy the altars in your family line mm -hmm. it has to be you mm -hmm. if i am your prophet you will come mm. i will help you to destroy mm. because i have a, i'm a priest mm. but you have to say with your own words mm. i denounce them mm. you have to reject them yourself mm. by the word of your mouth mm -hmm. because it is your job to tell them look here mm. you you lived in your season mm. now is my season mm. that was your god mm. that is not my god i gonna raise my god an altar mm -hmm. you have to do it for yourself mm -hmm. so th this is the family limitation mm -hmm. it is a spirit that has troubled so many people mm -hmm. people who are ready for promotion they are never promoted mm -hmm. they are bypassed mm -hmm. and one of the signs that there is a limitation in your family mm -hmm. look at how people are bypassed mm -hmm. 
look how people are bypassed mm. in the family. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. another spirit that uh, uh, makes you identify their authors in your family, mm -hmm. it is what we call evil patterns, mm -hmm. evil occurrences mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. Have you ever discovered that they are families, they have evil occurrences, mm -hmm. especially you will discover they have a certain period of time where they have bad luck. Uh -huh. uh, you discover they have a pattern every month uh -huh. of a, every year uh -huh. there is a certain month uh -huh. where people die in their family uh -huh. there are people who will tell you every month of April uh -huh. we bury people True. people die and we bury them uh -huh. every month of April you uh -huh. discover people saying every month of April uh -huh. we bury people uh -huh. people die uh -huh. and we bury them uh -huh. evil occurrences uh -huh. in, the, in a certain period of time uh -huh. You discover uh, their families every two years, mm. they bury somebody mm. that is close to them. Mm. Every one year, mm. they bury somebody. Mm -hmm. There are people even who get sick mm -hmm. at a, a, a particular month of the year. Mm. There are other people who are not even able to meet their bills mm. at a particular time of the year. Mm. You discover they, they will be locked out of their houses mm. for lack of payment mm. in the month of July. And they have discovered mm. that everything falls apart uh -huh, in, in the month of July. Mm. Yeah, everything falls apart uh -huh. in the month of December. If you discover those things, mm -hmm. that's why I'm telling people, come to my inbox. Mm. Talk to me. Let's destroy this pattern. Mm. Don't wait for July to come. Mm. Start praying mm. and arranging your month of July. Mm. I have been telling people that anything that is in the Bible needs to be taken very seriously. Mm. Do you know Job, mm -hmm. the man of God? Mm -hmm. He talked about his day and he said uh, he, he wants people that can remove his day from the calendar. So can you imagine your day mm -hmm. when you are supposed to be blessed can be removed from your calendar? What? Can be removed from your calendar. Mm -hmm. Can you open the book of Job? Mm. Hey, to be, today I think Job is talking to us a lot. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot to learn. Chapter. Yeah, there are people, mm -hmm. chapter 3, mm -hmm. there are people in a certain period of time, mm -hmm. they suffer certain things. Mm -hmm. It's a pattern. Even the whole family knows. Mm -hmm. uh, August is not good for us. Mm -hmm. April is not good for us. Mm -hmm. January is not good for us. Mm -hmm. And people are scared of certain period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 6. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. It says, mm -hmm. um, That night, that night, let big darkness seize it. Okay, let's start from one mm -hmm. so from that my, one. our viewer may understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, after, this, after this, Job opened his mouth and cast the day. After the this, mm -hmm. so that means there are certain occurrences that uh, had occurred. True. That's why he started after this. Mm -hmm. Job opened his mouth and, and cast. cast his day of his birth the day he was born mm -hmm. i want to teach you something very important today mm -hmm. the day that you are born is a very important day in your life mm -hmm. because that day is when it was announced about your arrival mm -hmm. and that is the day god released everything that you need in this world mm -hmm. if you are born to be a president mm -hmm. that is the package you come carry you are the president mm -hmm. If you are a teacher, a preacher, mm. whoever God wants you to become in this whole world, mm. the day you are born, mm. it is the day when these things are announced. Mm. And these things are announced in the spiritual realm. Mm. I want you to continue reading. Mm -hmm. Mm. And he said, Yes. Let the day perish on which I was born. Let the day perish in which I was born. He was not trying to say let that day perish. Mm. No. It is everything that was in that day that is what he is cursing. Uh -huh. Because there are so many things that was tied to that day. Uh -huh. After the problems he went through, uh -huh. he, now he wants to curse everything that was tied to his name. Uh -huh. That day, uh -huh. let it perish. Uh -huh. That's what he's saying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the night that, and the night uh -huh. that said, uh -huh. a, a, man, male child. a man is conceived, uh -huh. let that day be darkness. You see, there are two very important days in anybody's life. Mm -hmm. It is the day mm -hmm. that you are conceived. That night, uh -huh. the Bible says, the night that it was said, mm -hmm. a man child mm -hmm. has been conceived. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what the Bible is saying? It is saying the that. night that was said, mm -hmm. a man child has been conceived. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. 
before even a woman discovers she's pregnant mm -hmm. that night when she meets a man mm -hmm. before she even starts feeling nauseous mm -hmm. and realizing she's pregnant mm -hmm. that night already in the spiritual realm it has been announced True. it is already announced in the spiritual realm mm -hmm. that there is a male child mm -hmm. that has been conceived mm -hmm. there is a female child mm -hmm. that has been conceived mm -hmm. that night mm -hmm. And the day of the birth, mm. those two days are very important mm. because this night mm. will communicate to the day of the birth. True. And this night will tell the day of the birth. The person you are about to release into the world mm. is a king. And this is everything that is called by him. Mm -hmm. And the day of birth will now release that person to the world. Mm. So these two days, mm -hmm. there are people who have not become. Mm -hmm who have not become what God ordained them to become. Mm -hmm. Because when they were born, mm -hmm. there are evil people who took them. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, mm -hmm. there was an announcement that mm -hmm. a male child has been conceived. Mm -hmm. That was the, that was the uh, spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. It was not in the physical. Mm -hmm. It was in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Can you remember when Jesus was born, mm -hmm. the Bible says, and the wise men of the East... Mm -hmm. They saw, they saw a star. Mm. I want to submit to my viewers today. Mm. The wise men of the East were not prophets. Mm -hmm. They were not prophets. They were astrologers. Yeah. Those were astrologers. Mm. They were diviners. Mm. The diviners, mm. in doing their divination, they saw, they saw this star that we are seeing today. Mm. It's not like the ordinary stars that we see. Mm. Who is that? He has to be a very big man. Mm. And that's why they discovered and they said, oh, this one is not like the one we steal the star. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people when you are conceived mm. and the day of your birth, people will discover that there is a big star. Mm -hmm. Somebody great has been born. Mm. And that's how those stars of big people are stolen mm. by evil men. Mm -hmm. So these people that came from the East, mm. they were not just coming to see the child, mm. they had already realized mm. that this is not those people who steal their star. Mm. This is the king of kings. Mm. We can never take anything from him. Mm. We can only give him the gifts. Mm. So they came. Mm -hmm. So initially when a woman is pregnant, mm -hmm. the first people to discover the kind of person who will be born mm. is not the prophets. Mm. It is the evil men. Mm -hmm. The astrologers. Mm the witches, mm. the people who practice evil, they will discover very fast. Mm. And that's what they did mm -hmm. in this case. Mm. Uh, Job is saying, mm. I, I want to cast that day. Mm. And people have cast their day. Mm. There are people who are waiting for their month mm. to be blessed, but their month have been removed from the calendar. Mm. The, the month that they are supposed to be blessed has mm. been removed from the calendar. Can you read verse 6? Mm -hmm. That's Job chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Now we want to go to verse 6. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God above not seek it, <laughs> nor light shine upon it. <laughs> Let gloom and deep darkness claim <laughs> it. <laughs> Let clouds dwell upon it. <laughs> Let the blackness of the day terrify it. He's trying to cast that mm -hmm. day with all the strength that is in him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that night, <laughs> let thick darkness seize it. <laughs> let it not rejoice among the days of the year. Let it not rejoice mm. among the days of the year. Mm. Uh -huh. Let it not come into the number of the month. Let it not come into the number of the month. Can you imagine if your calendar is removed from the calendar of the year mm. and in the number of the, of the, the month? month? Can you imagine if your day is to be July 2nd, mm. that's the day God is to bless you mm. and they remove it from your calendar. Your day will come and you will not know. You will not know. Nothing will happen to your life because your calendar mm. has been altered. Mm. There are so many people here, mm. the month in which God is to bless them mm. has been removed from their calendar. Mm. And you see, what they are given mm. is pain. Mm. That's why you, 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 you experience pain mm. in a certain month of the year. Mm -hmm. It is not the will of God. Mm. It is your month that has been removed from the calendar of the year. Mm and your day from the days of the month. Mm. Mm. It is possible you have read the very Bible. True, very yeah, true. they can remove it. Mm. And the evil witches, mm. they do that. Mm -hmm. They do that. Mm -hmm. They remove the calendar of the, of the week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Today, 
Wow. You know, I heard someone talking about mm-hmm. uh, she's a married woman, mm-hmm. and every time she would wear a certain cloth, yes, you f- you wear it, then something bad happens, then after some time you forget to wear it again. Wow! And then she was asking, what could be wrong? Yeah, with this cloth that I, I wear, it's a little dedication. The cloth was dedicated. Yes, maybe she didn't pray for it when she bought it. There we have evil manufacturers. Uh-huh. We have people who steal destinies. So this, we, 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 when they are manufacturing their own things, they have their. That's how they steal destinies. There is a dress you buy and uh-huh. wear, uh-huh. and your destiny will be gone just like that, because there was evil dedication in those things. Uh-huh. Anything you buy as uh-huh. a Christian, you need to pray for them. Uh-huh. I'm not a Christian that says don't wear this, don't wear that. Uh-huh. No, unless what you are wearing has demonic signs. Uh-huh. You cannot wear things that has demonic signs. Uh-huh. Any other thing, you need to hold it uh-huh. and cleanse it by the power in the name of Jesus uh-huh. and by the blood of Jesus. Uh-huh. Once you cleanse that thing, uh-huh. you receive it with thanksgiving uh-huh. and now you are free to use it. Uh-huh. They, we have evil manufacturers. Uh-huh. We have people who are evil. Uh-huh. Even the shop owners, some uh-huh. of them, they are demonic. Uh-huh. Some of them, they are devil worshippers. Uh-huh. So if you buy from a devil worshipper, what uh-huh. do you expect? Mm-hmm. They will take your destiny away. And, and exactly. that dress that you wear, mm-hmm. you bought from them, it mm-hmm. will become an instrument of bad luck mm-hmm. in your family. Mm-hmm. There is a lady who came here mm-hmm. and she's our member. Mm-hmm. And the problem that was in the, her house, it mm-hmm. was the curtains. Uh-huh. The curtains she had put for her windows. Uh-huh. Those were what the enemy was using mm-hmm. to monitor her. Mm-hmm. They were staying in the curtains. Mm-hmm. And I called her and I said, go and remove your curtains. Mm-hmm. And after removing the curtains, Mm -hmm. there was nothing. There was no where demons could hide. Mm -hmm. The secret was in the curtains. Because where she bought them, I don't know where she got them. Mm -hmm. But there was something that was connecting her to a demonic world Mm -hmm. through those curtains. Mm -hmm. So sometimes bad luck can come because because of something even yes like, yes uh-huh. yeah because something you bought maybe or you brought home uh-huh. has an evil dedication on it uh-huh. yes and i had a, a certain man uh, they, yes. they were saying a story that they bought a car yes and uh, that car you know after buying it mm-hmm. they, they it took the entire family away yes you know, they got an accident and died they all died uh-huh. that's why when you buy a car you don't know who was the previous owner of it, it and i like to say mm. Any, anything you buy, mm. don't just take a title deed mm-hmm. as, as, as now the proof of ownership. Mm-hmm. That's the physical proof of ownership. Mm-hmm. What about the spiritual proof of ownership? Mm-hmm. You buy a car, mm-hmm. you get the logbook mm-hmm. as, your, uh, as your proof of ownership. Mm-hmm. You need also to carry a spiritual mm-hmm. logbook. Mm-hmm. The car has to be dedicated to your God. Mm. Who do you submit to? Mm-hmm. You, ded- you dedicate your things mm. to who you submit to. Mm-hmm. So if a devil worshipper owns a car, mm-hmm. he will dedicate the car to the devil worshipping. Mm-hmm. So when you buy that car, you need to dedicate it to God. Mm-hmm. Whether it is a new vehicle, mm-hmm. you dedicate it to God. Mm-hmm. Because maybe the manufacturer mm-hmm. is a devil worshipper. Or he is fetish. Mm-hmm. So if they are fetish, mm-hmm. what do you do? You dedicate to your God because you, mm. you, are, you are submitted to God. Mm. So anything that is your, called by your name mm. should submit to your God. Mm-hmm. So you have to have the spiritual ownership mm. and the physical ownership. Mm-hmm. But people concentrate on the physical, physical. ownership. Mm. Mm. They don't concentrate on the spiritual ownership. Mm. When you buy a house, mm. you own that house through the title deed. Mm. That title deed is proof by the government. Mm that you own that house mm. but the spiritual ownership mm. it's only you mm. that can know mm. if you buy a house mm. uh, people have a tendency of raising altars in their house mm. so that house you are living mm. who raised an altar in that house mm. and what kind of altar was raised in that house mm-hmm. immediately you buy land mm. you buy a house mm. the first thing you need to do mm is to go there, Mm -hmm. destroy all the altars, Mm -hmm. and raise a godly altar. Mm -hmm. The first assignment Mm -hmm. that God gave to the children of Israel Mm -hmm. when they were getting to Canaan Mm -hmm. was first to destroy all the altars. Mm -hmm. All the altars Mm -hmm. 
There had to be destroyed. God cannot stand mm. evil altars. Mm. There are people you are very good. Mm. The place you are living in, God commune with you mm. at night. Mm. You discover God is not communing with you anymore. <laughs> Why is he not communing with you? Mm. Because you have not raised an altar. Mm. Because God does not come to houses. Mm. He responds to the altars. Mm. If you raise an altar in your house, mm. God will come down. Mm. If you raise an altar in your house, mm. God will come down and commune with you in your house mm. because you have already, already raised an altar in your house. Mm. But if the house you are living in, the previous owner had raised a demonic altar, mm. even when you call God, God cannot come because there is already another altar. There is another kingdom mm -hmm. in that place. Mm -hmm. You have to discover mm. that this is my house. Mm -hmm. You enter there, whether you see a physical altar or not, mm. the first utterances from your mouth should be, mm. I destroy every demonic voice mm. that has ever spoken on this piece of land mm. or on this house. Mm. I silence every demonic altar mm. that has ever been raised in this house. Mm. Any evil dedication in this house, mm. I destroy it by the power in the name of Jesus. Mm. That should be primary. Mm -hmm. That should be the first thing you do. Mm. That should be the first thing you do. Mm. Uh, recently, I went to the US mm. and I had gone to dedicate a house mm. and a land mm. that was born by one of my spiritual daughters. Mm. And the most important thing mm. that I had gone to do, mm. people may think it's, it was just a small event. No, mm. it was not a small event. It was to transfer, mm. to transfer mm. the logbook mm. of the spiritual world mm from the previous owner mm. to the new owner. True. So now that the vicinity mm. belongs to her mm. physically and, and spiritually. spiritually. Mm. So, so many people have documents, mm. but they don't have ownership. Mm. That's why people will sleep in their houses mm. and they will hear spirits moving around the house. Mm. They will hear voices of spirits mm. in their house. Mm. I usually tell people, if you don't pay my, ha my house, mm. You cannot live in my house. Mm. I own my house, mm. both physically mm. and spiritually. I mm. own my house, mm. physically and spiritually. Mm. That is my house. Mm. You understand? Mm. Sure. So you need to own your property, mm. both physically mm. and spiritually. People will pursue title deeds, mm. but they will not pursue to own that place spiritually. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first commandment, I want you to read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 12. Mm -hmm. You will discover the first commandment that God instructed the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. It is to destroy all the demonic altars mm -hmm. when they get to that land. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing they did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because uh, you might be living in a place, yes. you are calling it home, mm -hmm. but uh, you find maybe it is not your spiritually. Yes. I've seen people mm -hmm. getting into a house and yes. start you know the kids start getting sick yes uh, they start maybe even losing jobs yes yes so people that, have lost job mm. even marriages have been broken because of a because place of a living. place they are living in mm. you buy a property mm. and that property becomes the genesis of mm. your problems there are people who have bought properties they have built houses mm. and immediately they moved to that house mm. that is how their businesses collapsed mm. That's how they became broke. Mm. They even admire the days they didn't have a home. Because that time they were able to, ha to pay their house, mm. they had money. Mm. They enjoyed life. Mm. But since they bought that house, mm. there is nothing. Mm. Since they built a house, mm. there is nothing. The problem is not you bought a house. Mm. No, the issue is that place. Mm. Did you destroy the altars in that place? Mm. Did you know whether that land swallows people's money? Mm. Did you know? Mm. And even the man of God that you took there, mm. does he understand how to deal with the curse of the land? Mm. Because you have to understand the principles mm. of breaking the curse of the land. Mm. Because land mm. has ears. Mm. And if there was an evil dedication in a land, mm. that dedication mm. is still speaking today. Mm. Yeah. And I, I understand. Maybe you can tell us. Maybe mm. if you have a property and you want to dedicate it, yes, so that you can own it spiritually. Yes. 
uh, do you need also to give a sacrifice? Yes, to yes. Mm-hmm. You have to own it spiritually mm-hmm. because it is a godly altar you will raise, mm-hmm. and there are certain things mm-hmm. that will be spoken on that piece of land mm-hmm. by the man of God mm-hmm. or the woman of God mm-hmm. when they take that land. I tell people to bring their soil here. Mm-hmm. They bring it here. Mm. And there are words that I speak. Mm. Because God, when, when God was speaking to Adam, mm. he said to Adam in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verse 17, mm. because you have listened to the voice of your wife mm-hmm. and have eaten of the fruit that I commanded you not to eat, mm. cursed mm. is the ground for you. So he was not cast. Mm. Adam was not cast, mm. but the ground was cast. Mm. And from there, the Bible says, verse 18, mm-hmm. it, will bro- it will produce thorns mm-hmm. and these toes. Mm-hmm. So before then, there were no thorns. Mm-hmm. When you plant, mm. what you could reap was the, what you planted. Mm. But immediately after that cast, mm. uh, the land started producing weed. Mm-hmm. Weed mm-hmm. started growing mm-hmm. after the curse. Mm-hmm. So that means the land has ears to hear. Mm-hmm. The land has ears to hear. Mm-hmm. And even the witches, they understand the principles of the land. Mm-hmm. That's why you hear the Bible saying in Second Chronicles mm-hmm. chapter 7, verse 14, mm-hmm. If my people, mm-hmm. which are called by my name, mm-hmm. shall humble themselves, pray and seek my face, mm-hmm. I will hear from heaven mm-hmm. and heal their land. Mm-hmm. Their land, mm. land is what produces for you. Mm, and when you are operating under a curse, mm. your source of income is what is attacked. Mm-hmm. Your source of breakthrough mm. is what is being attacked. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. So if you read even the book of Jeremiah mm. 22, 29, mm. the Bible says, mm-hmm. I, I think we can read mm-hmm. so that people can understand, can understand about the curse of the land. Yeah, true. Mm. In the book of Jeremiah 22, Chapter 22, verse 29. Uh, verse 29. Yes. It says, Yes. Uh, oh, land, land, land. Oh, land, land, land. Listen to me, Hiram. Mm-hmm. When something is called three times, mm-hmm. it is called to attention. True. That means you have to listen. Mm-hmm. That's why it is called like three, three times. times. Oh, land, oh, land, oh, land. Mm-hmm. Hear the word of God. Mm hmm. Uh, hear the word of the Lord. Uh-huh. That says the Lord. That says the Lord. Write this man down as childless. Write this. Listen to what God is saying. Mm. Write this man down as childless. It is not a person who is instructed to write. Mm. It is the land. God is telling the land. Please write this man childless. Uh-huh. A man who will not prosper in his days. Mm. True. Uh-huh. A man who shall not <laughs> succeed in his days. A man who shall not succeed in his days. It is the land that was instructed to write. There are people that have gone all over the world. Mm. They have never succeeded. Why? Because in the land, mm. there is a handwriting mm. that was written there. Mm. That's why the Bible says, write this man childless. Mm. A man who will not prosper in his days. Mm. That means from the fruit of the womb, mm. To what he is doing with his hand, mm. he will not prosper mm. because the land has already written. Mm. You try to move from Nairobi, mm. you go to Kisumu. Mm. Oh, the land will remove a record mm-hmm. and it, it will tell Kisumu mm. there is a stranger in the land. Mm. And you will start experiencing problems mm-hmm. from Kisumu. Mm. You go to South Africa, mm. a record will be removed. Mm. There is a stranger in the land. Mm. He will never prosper in his days. Mm. So you will discover there are people who are suffering mm. because there is an evil mm. writing mm. on the earth on their behalf. And God did not say, eh, eh, this man. No, he said, I will work this man in his days. Mm. Continue. He, <laughs> uh, for none of his offspring shall uh, succeed. That is a contradiction. Uh-huh. For none of his offspring shall succeed. And the the say, first one said, uh, like this man childless. Uh-huh. That means this uh-huh. man has children. Uh-huh. But by that statement, the children has been rendered useless. Uh-huh. The children has been rendered useless. Uh-huh. By that statement alone, uh-huh. like this man childless, uh-huh. it means he has children, uh-huh. but they have been rendered uh-huh. useless. Uh-huh. That's why the other statement says, uh-huh. they will not succeed. Uh-huh. They will not succeed. There are people here 
The problem is not where you who you are. Mm. The problem is because where you are, mm. there is an evil handwriting mm. on the earth, mm. and the earth is testifying against you. Mm. The earth is fighting you. Mm. There are people that they are experiencing curse of the land. Mm. There is a big connection between curse of the land mm. and the evil altars, mm. because the evil altars mm. are established mm. by curses that has been directed in the family line. Mm. And every family line mm. is connected to their land, mm. especially in the African setup. Mm. African uh, families mm. are connected to their ancestral land. Mm. If there is a curse in their ancestral land, mm. that curse will follow them. Mm. We will follow people. Mm. Curse, those curses have been following people. Mm. And that's why we destroy curses. Mm. When you own a piece of land, mm. you need to own it spiritually. Mm. You need to ask yourself, does this land listen to me? Mm. Or it will listen to the witches? Mm. Because the witches will come at night. Mm. They will tell the land, write this man useless. He will not prosper. Mm. He will not prosper in this place. Mm. You, you have moved to a new place. Mm. You need to ask yourself, mm. who is the ruler of this place? Mm. You need to speak to your land mm. and you will tell it. You call it three times. Mm. Oh, land, land, land. Hear the word of God. Mm. Release my blessings. Mm. Release my breakthrough. Mm. Remove every demonic handwriting against my life. Mm. That's how you deal with those spirits. Mm. And that's how you are able to redeem yourself. Mm. There are people who have not discovered how to redeem themselves. Mm. This Bible is very clear. Mm. This writing is written by God himself. Mm. It is God who is speaking prophetically. Mm. Write this man childless, mm. useless. Mm. A person has been rendered useless. Mm. And today there are so many parents mm. who, are, who they have children, mm. but it's like they don't have. Mm. It's like they never gave birth. Mm. Their children have been led up useless yes. by these curses of the land mm. and the demonic altars. Mm. So we need to deal with these evil patterns mm. because evil patterns will cause you mm. to even go to places where you will not prosper. Mm. Yeah. It will cause you to go to a place where the, there is a setback waiting for you. Mm -hmm. There is a failure waiting for you mm -hmm. because it is a demonic, uh, uh, it's a demonic pattern mm. orchestrated mm. by the evil altar mm. in the family line. Mm. Yes. And uh, <laughs> nothing good will ever come out of you yes. your children yes and it is very sad you know uh, i think there's a verse that you i always love when you say it lamentation uh -huh. five seven <laughs> that <laughs> the father sinned yes. and are no more uh -huh. we carry their iniquities and slaves rule over us. us nobody to help us yeah. that is when you discover that uh -huh. you are being bypassed people come you help them and mm. then they become your bosses the next day and you know, Apostle, when you think about that verse, it is very sad. Mm. Yes. That, you know, the slaves mm. will rule over you. That's why it is a lamentation. Mm. Uh -huh. It is not any other book. Mm. It's a lamentation. It is not supposed to be. Oh. It is not supposed to be. Mm. That's why it is a lamentation. Mm. Yes. And you have said that uh, when we were starting the show that the DNA, yes. we, we don't choose. Yes. Our DNA. Yes. And uh, where we come from. Ah, uh, no. And uh, it is very sad because <laughs> if maybe you were coming from a family that uh -huh. you are forefathers yes. sinned and they are no more. Yes. And now you are the one who is uh, there. carrying mm. all the burden. Yes. And uh, all the demonic altars, they are yes. following you because of what they did. Yes. It is very, very sad. And maybe you can speak to somebody yes. who maybe is experiencing bad luck, yes. who is experiencing, uh, you know, things like. Uh, maybe they never graduate mm -hmm. because I can, I can see our time is almost over. <laughs> yes, yes. I want to say this mm -hmm. eh, before we finish mm -hmm. that uh, there, there are days when this topic was very heavy mm. and we didn't understand. Mm. But by the revelation that God has given us, mm. it is possible to change the pattern of your family line mm. by just denouncing them and uh, removing them from your family line. Mm. That's why I've been talking about destroying demonic altars mm. and raising a godly altar. Mm. In every property that you buy, mm. you need to have a godly altar speaking. Mm. Any person who is fetish, mm. look at the Indian people. Mm. Who, those who are fetish, mm -hmm. they, they, they are into other worship. Mm -hmm. Immediately they lay a foundation to build a house. Mm -hmm. You will meet them killing goats uh -huh. and cows. Mm -hmm. And they will pour blood there. 
you know what they are doing they are taking over that place permanently mm -hmm. that is their altar they have raised there mm -hmm. so you find the people because they are christian they are very ignorant mm -hmm. they do not understand the principles mm -hmm. of having a godly altar mm -hmm. if you cannot have a godly altar then know that you will certainly follow another altar mm -hmm. There is an altar that you will follow. Mm. An altar that will not keep quiet mm. unless it is silenced. Mm. So, whether you are dealing with evil altars mm. or foundations, mm. are worry out mm. because you can destroy those altars mm. and you can raise a godly altar. Mm. Raising a godly altar means you are aligning your family mm. in the right way. Mm. You are doing away with the evil mm. and you are raising the good mm. in the family line. Mm. Uh, it's very simple. If you are winning spiritually, mm. you need. If you are winning physically, mm. you need to win spiritually, mm. because a battle that is lost in the spiritual realm, mm. it will be lost in the physical. Mm. A battle that is won in the spiritual realm mm. will be won in the physical. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. And I'm sure people, uh, we have learned, yes. you know, a lot from Apostle, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how to identify mm -hmm. an evil altar mm -hmm. in our family. Yes. And I'm sure I think uh, mm -hmm. today's uh, topic was very, very interesting. Yes, yes. <laughs> and we have enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we come to the end of the show, maybe you can tell us, you know, how uh, people can be able to... Reach me. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. My number is on the screen. Mm -hmm. It's 254 mm -hmm. 722 mm -hmm. 30 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's my number. You can get me on WhatsApp. You can text me. Mm -hmm. And that's my easiest way of communication. Don't call me before you talk to me on a message. I'm very good in replying messages mm -hmm. and uh, planning or scheduling meetings, mm -hmm. online meetings. Mm -hmm. So many of our followers are from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I would appreciate if you write a message, I will schedule with you a meeting mm. that will be convenient between the two of us mm. and God will bless you so much. Mm. Thank you so much once again for supporting this program. Mm. Uh, by your support, we are able to come here on a weekly basis mm. to share this word. We, when I talk about evil altars and foundation, it's a very, very big mm. uh, program. Today, Ahiram has, <laughs> you know, when we talk about the land, mm -hmm. it is one of my best topics. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you have managed to make me talk about <laughs> it, but it is not a topic I would have wanted to touch. Mm -hmm. It is a whole topic that I can do for by three itself. months uh -huh. by itself, mm -hmm. curse of the land mm -hmm. and redeeming the land, mm -hmm. how to redeem the land mm -hmm. and breaking the curse of the land. Mm -hmm. Uh, because so many people are operate, operating under the curse of the land. Mm. But today we talked about owning mm. things. Mm. When you own something, you mm. need to own it physically and spiritually. And, spiritually. Mm. Mm. and that's why we I had to touch mm. on the curse it of the land. It is a comma. We will put a comma. Yeah, we have put a comma. <laughs> okay. And God will give us another opportunity. Mm. So I want to pray for you today mm. that God will give you a new direction that God will fight your battles. I know there are so many people who are, have not settled down because it's like wherever you go, you are followed by rejection. Wherever you go, you are followed by failure. I want to pray for you and I want to believe God that these evil patterns will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 10 verse 27, uh, Isaiah 10 verse 27, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. Mm -hmm. The anointing breaks the yoke. Mm -hmm. This anointing that we are operating under, mm -hmm. it will surely destroy the yoke. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing the word. Mm -hmm. There are people even before you receive my prayers, mm -hmm. you have already started receiving your freedom mm -hmm. because you have now started understanding mm -hmm. your warfare. Mm -hmm. And when you start understanding your warfare, mm -hmm. you start winning. Mm -hmm. There are people who have started now winning mm -hmm. Even before I pray for them, mm. they have started experiencing freedom mm. because faith comes by hearing mm. and hearing the word of God. Mm. This word of God is bringing freedom in your life. Mm. It is bringing you freedom. Mm. Where your ancestors failed, mm. you will not fail mm. in the name of Jesus. You have seen how they have died. Mm. You will not die the same way. Mm in the name of Jesus. You have seen them fail in the city. Mm. You will not fail the way they failed mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I commit your to you. Father, they have suffered limitations. They have suffered demonic patterns. 
Today in the name of Jesus, I take power and authority over the works of the enemy, the evil schemes of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, take over their lives. Take over their families. Every demonic voice that was written in their land, today we remove it and destroy it by the power in the name of Jesus. And now I speak a new beginning. Let there be a new beginning. We speak, we speak good dedication in their family houses, in their vehicles. We plead the blood of Jesus upon their vehicles, upon their families, upon their households, in the name of Jesus. Any weapon the enemy is using in their house, whatever item they have brought into their house that the enemy is using to monitor them. Father, in the name of Jesus, expose these items. Expose them now. Expose them now by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. wow. Thank you so much, Apostle, for such a, a very, very encouraging and powerful word. We yes. have learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we can say is that may God, you know, continue to bless you Amen. and to enlarge your territories. Yes. And uh, guys, the number on your screen, if you want to support this ministry, mm -hmm. uh, you can use the number on your screen to support uh, this ministry mm -hmm. and uh, whatever you have, I always say that the hand that gives is the hand that receives. And uh, remember, by doing this, you are uh, enlarging the kingdom uh, or the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. And therefore, anything you have, uh, you can uh, send it uh, to the number on your screen and God will bless you. And uh, <clears throat> Uh, th that will, you know, bring us to the end of our show. May God bless you all. Keep subscribing, keep sharing. Till next week, as we will, you know, we'll be continuing with this, today's topic. So may God bless you all and enlarge your territories. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Nusema kweli ndiyo huyu. Ndiyo huyu. Land ni title deed. Yes. Na ndiyo hii hapa. They are ready, they are ready for phase seven, actually. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, phase seven title deed. They are out. So, ni kununua mm. na kuwekewa. Mm -hmm. You are not waiting uh, ati unagoje, ati zitoke, ati zitoke. Zito yeah. They are out, so all you have to do is uh, buy this plot mm -hmm. and of course they will transfer it to you. Exactly. So guys, you have it. They Title deed, Iko Hapa. Msema kweli, as you can see. As you can see, I'm flipping <laughs> one by one. Exactly. They are here. Yes. Uh, na hizi zote ni za phase seven. Uh, they are out. So, mm. guys, all you have mm. to do is book your plot. Mm. And you can book uh, via calling, you know, you're using our number, which is 07. And by the way, remember, you don't need to pay the whole amount. Yeah. Uh, the 50 by 100 is going for Kenya shillings, 230,000. Mm. But you can uh, pay a deposit of 10,000. Uh, one thing that I love about Faraja is that yeah. they are accommodative. Mm -hmm. uh, even mwananchi wa kawaida mm -hmm. uh, can be able to uh, afford to buy you know a plot and That's own a true. plot and become That's a landowner yeah. because 10000 Kenya shillings mm -hmm. you know it is affordable mm -hmm. uki ukijiwekea vizuri you can be able to clear that balance That's now they true. have a fl flexible plan mm -hmm. 6 months ama 1 year ama 1 year ile uta decide mtapangana na management yeah only so, at 230,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, of course, uh, you uh, you will become a landowner. So, guys, uh, remember this is Faraja Settlers Limited, where we tell you that your property is, is our priority. Mm -hmm.